points and given this equation, calculators are not allowed because and so the power of five is greater than a hundred to so the power of five. So n is greater than a hundred because and so the power of five is less than a hundred to so the power of five plus eighty plus seven or to so the power of five plus 43 plus 57 or to the power of 5. 43 plus 57 is 100. 80 plus 7 is less than 100. So we can now write it's less than 3 times 100 to the power of 5. 3 is less than 3,000. 100 and 25 over 1,000 and 24, which can be written as 5 over 4, or to the power of 5. 5 over 4, or to the power of 5 times 100, to the power of 5, can be written as 5 times a hundred over four or to the power of five, which is equal to a hundred and twenty-five to the power of five. So n to the power of five is less than a hundred and twenty-five to the power of five. So n is less than a hundred and twenty-five. Now we consider a to the power of five minus a, which can be written as a times a to the power of four minus one. It's the power of four minus one can be written as a squared minus one times a squared plus one, a squared minus one can be written as a minus one times a plus one. A is an integer as a to the power of five minus a contains the product of two consecutive numbers, a minus one and a. So a to the power of 5 minus a must be an even number. So it's congruent to 0 mod 2. Similarly, a to the power of 5 minus a contains the product of three consecutive numbers, a minus 1, a, a plus 1. So a to the power of 5 minus a is divisible by 3, so it's congruent to 0 mod 3. In addition, a to the power of 5 minus a is congruent to 0 mod 5 by Fermat's little theorem. As a to the power of 5 minus a is divisible by 2, and it's divisible by 5, so it's divisible by 10. So we can now write a to the power of 5 minus a is congruent to 0 mod 10. n is congruent to n to the power of 5 mod 10, as n to the power of 5 is congruent to n mod 10. So 7 to the power of 5 is congruent to 7 mod 10. 43 to the power of 5 is congruent to 43 mod 10, which is congruent to 3 mod 10.
57 to the power of 5 is congruent to 57 mod 10, which is congruent to 7 mod 10. 80 to the power of 5 is congruent to 80 mod 10, which is congruent to 0 mod 10. 100 to the power of 5 is congruent to 100 mod 10, which is congruent to 0 mod 10. So we can now write it's congruent to 7 plus 3 plus 7 plus 0 plus 0, which is congruent to 7 mod 10, which means the last digit of n is 7. As 100 is less than n, which is less than 100 and 25. So n can take the values 100 and 7 or 100 and 17 because n is congruent to n to the power of 5 mod 3 as n to the power of 5 is congruent to n mod 3. So 7 to the power of 5 is congruent to 7 mod 3, which is congruent to 1 mod 3. 43 to the power of 5 is congruent to 43 mod 3, which is congruent to 1 mod 3. 57 to the power of 5 is congruent to 57 mod 3, which is congruent to 0 mod 3. 80 to the power of 5 is congruent to 80 mod 3, which is congruent to minus 1 mod 3. 100 to the power of 5 is congruent to 100 mod 3, which is congruent to 1 mod 3. So we can now write is congruent to 1 plus 1 plus 0 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and 1 cancel. 1 plus 1 is 2. So we can now write is congruent to 2 mod 3. So n equals a hundred and seven.